still have those 20 doubloons to spend. I'll visit the dress shop and buy that beautiful dress. Man, what I wouldn't give for a pair of designer sunglasses. There's another notice here. Sunny is now welcomed into the community of Forgotten Island with a special name of Inaru Kuraya. It's like I've been adopted! Oh, I hope that doesn't mean Mom and Dad will cut me out of their will. Now I can do some real shopping. Here's the money. Now, can I please have one of those dresses? Of course. It's always a pleasure doing business with a woman of means. Your dress will be ready in about six months. Uh, yeah, right? If I pay now, I want the dress now. This is a special dress that uses a uniquely woven fabric. It will be six months until the cotton is harvested and the fabric made. I'm not waiting that long. I'll take the one you have on display. That's impossible. The dress in the window has already been promised to Carmen. If it's Carmen's dress, why is it still in the window? It's her wedding dress, and I'm holding on to it until she can get married to Miguel. The banker's son. He's locked up in the stockade. If he ever gets released, the cotton will have been harvested. And you can make other dresses. That's certainly true. And it would be bad business to turn down such a deal. Thank you so much. Can you deliver it? Of course. Just tell me where you're staying. I... Oh, dear. Hold on to the dress until I get back to you. I'm worried I may end up sleeping with a pig. Proper place to stay. Perhaps Juan knows of somewhere. Is Juan in his office? I'm looking for somewhere to stay and wondered if he know of anywhere. I'd offer to put you up, but my cat doesn't take very well to strangers. Oh, you have a cat? Well, at the moment, he's missing. Oh, you put up the notice in the square about the cat called Demon? That's right. He wears a blue collar with a small bell attached. I'll let you know if I see him. Bye. Hi, Juan. Do you know anywhere I could stay while I'm on the island? You can stay in my home. Oh, I'm not sure. I mean, you're really nice and everything. But is it really appropriate? Don't worry, I'll sleep here on the couch. Uh, well, that's different. It's such a cool thing for you to do, Juan. It's the most luxurious house on the island, too. Here, you'll need a key. How do I get there? Exit the town south to the jungle, pass by the cloister, then take the coast path. You can't miss it.
It's locked. It's closed. I could swear I just saw an old lady passing by the window. It must be my imagination. Or I'm going psycho. A lightning rod made of wood? <laughs> Even I know that's stupid. This building looks like an old chapel. There must have been someone on the island who performed marriages once. The Tower of Pisa is in the Caribbean? Oh, geography was never my strong point. Looks like a makeshift observatory. Ugh, this stupid seagull keeps following me. Do I smell a fish or something? This machine looks like those old drawings I saw in art class last year. Leonardo da Vinci, I think. It looks like it's held together with old piano wires. I wonder what would happen if I kicked the beam. Summer. Countryside. An isolated barn. A beautiful, sexy blonde. Sounds like a trailer for the simpler life. The roof's completely collapsed, as if it's been hit by a meteorite. Maybe I should ask if there's a boy named Clark living around here. There's no reason to do that now. The water is beautifully clear. Wait, I think I might have said that already. This is where Juan lives. From the way he described it, I thought it was going to be a palace. I hope all his ideas of luxury aren't on the small side. Forest Trail. This is just a small piece of bamboo. This water looks beautiful and fresh. The water tank has a pump attached to it. It's the old-fashioned type that's worked with a handle, which appears to be missing. <sighs> There's no water to pump. Besides, the handle is missing. These bamboo poles are connected like a pipe, but one section has come loose. Why would one need logs when the weather is always so hot? I'm not sure this is the best of souvenirs, but no one should miss it. Hmm, this axe is getting rusty. Juan needs to understand the importance of regular tool maintenance. Chop the log into smaller pieces. Hmm. 
Juan is wasting his time locking the door if he leaves the window open. Juan is wasting his time lock. Now it's more secure. This looks like a wood burning boiler. The water goes in the top and the fire in the bottom. Sure, this is meant to deliver water to the boiler tank. That doesn't work right. I need something to hold it in place. This isn't very safe. I need to make sure Juan understands the meaning of ensuite facilities. Oh my god! I'd rather go behind a bush. Going behind a bush will be my only option now. to dumb blonde after all. <laughs> Way cool. I fixed the bamboo pipes. I only have to fill the water tank now. Pretty cool. I should go on pumping. The water's almost ready. That should be enough for me to take a bath. Now, I just need to heat the water inside the water tank. Locked. Hmm. How disappointing. 
My bedroom at home is bigger than this. Wait, that sounds so ungrateful. When Juan has let me his house. Hi, Sunny. What do you think of the old place? I'm a little lost for words. Sure about bathing in this barrel. What if I get splinters in my ass? I guess I haven't much choice, though. These pipes must supply the water. I should have made Juan explain the plumbing before he left. Wait until I see Juan. A barrel in the ground is not a sunken bath. <laughs> you call this luxurious? Where are the walk in wardrobes and the vanity table? Where are the sunken bath and the ensuite facilities? What do you mean? No one else has a bath in their house. <laughs> That's the bath? It certainly is. Not everyone can bathe whenever they like. I've even been known to take two in the same month sometimes. Honestly, Juan, you really need to get your ass in gear if you're to turn this island into a top resort. Ass? In gear? Your hotel needs to be fit for a king. Polished floors and deep pile rugs. Balconies with deck chairs. Massaging loungers. Oh, and of course, you need to install a proper electricity supply. Electricity? Well, I'll figure that out later. Right now, I need some privacy so I can take a bath. I'm beginning to smell like I slept with a pig. Oh, of course. I mean, I leave. This lace reminds me of visits to Grandma's house. For some reason, she covered every surface with pieces of lace. But none of it was ever this beautiful. The bottle is empty, and there's only one glass. Juan can't have visitors very often. It's empty. Or full of air, if you want to be picky. I would have thought a poet would have his mind on higher things than dirty drawings. Wait. He could have drawn them himself. Which would make them art, of course. This is Juan's bed. If this were a B-movie, I'd find a bundle of cash hidden under the mattress. I love cliches! Juan must have been up late working. The candle is almost burned down. I won't sit on a sofa covered in suspicious stains. Damn, it's locked. It's probably filled with men's stuff anyway. Perhaps the pipes lead from the pump outside. I should have known. There are only wands closed in here. This ladder leads to the upper floor. I'm not gonna risk breaking my ankle. Judging by this painting, he loves himself as much as he claims to love Morgan. You'd think he came from L.A., he's so vain. This is brilliant! Juan really captured their ugly faces. <laughs> I don't remember the chief looking this handsome. This portrait is wonderful. Juan really does seem to worship Morgan. That threatening letter I found doesn't make any sense. Oh, now that's just typical. I searched high and low for paper and pencils, and look at all this. I'll take a sheet, in case anyone else needs to write a note.
Now, I need to find some firewood. I can take a bath as soon as the water heats up. The bath's ready! At last! This is gonna feel so good. That's much better. Oh, I feel human again. Now I have somewhere to stay. I can have the dress delivered here. Olivia. Hello, Sunny. Can you deliver the dress to Juan's house, please? Why are you giving your dress to Juan? I'm not. I'll be staying there for a while. I... You know where that is, don't you? When can you deliver it? Oh, this evening. After I close up the shop. Thanks. Angelo. You said you help Enrico, and so far, you've done nothing! I'm sorry, Angelo. You're right. I shall try to help Enrico straight away. About time, too. So, where can I find the pit? Oh, well... If you go along the side of the mountain, you can't miss the spoil heaps. The pit is nestled among them. Thanks, Angelo. I want a word with you. That sounds serious. You should chill out. If I'd known you were going to buy that dress from Olivia, I'd never have given you the money. We had a deal. I earned it fair and square. But that was the dress in which my future daughter-in-law was to get married. Carmen is extremely upset. She knows? Oh, gee. Where can I find her? I have a note to deliver. Do you not think you've caused her enough problems for one day? Why is everything so complicated? I don't know if I should visit the pit to help Enrico. 
or find Carmen and deliver the note. Life was so much simpler when Mom made all the decisions. 